Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here to do the weekly reading for the lovely sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, firstly, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. We're going to use the Lightseer's Tarot for your reading today. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love to have you on board. Um, please subscribe and make sure you click the little bell underneath because it does let you know when I'm going live. Um, or when I've posted a video, of course. Now, remembering or keeping in mind these are general readings, which means sometimes they won't resonate with you. If they don't resonate with you, make sure you check out other aspects of your natal chart. If you're unclear on how to do that, you can just Google natal chart and put in your birth date. Um, if you have your time of birth, it makes it more accurate. Um, and um, you'll then know what your moon sign, your rising sign, and also your um, Venus star signs are. All of them are important with readings, not just your sun sign. All right, I said we were using the Light Seer's Tarot, didn't I? All right, so we have the Chariot coming out first off. So the Chariot's a card which talks about forward movement, but it is about having all of your options all aligned before you move forward. So, you know, we look at the black and the white horse or the yin and the yang or the two opposites here. And basically, you've got to have everything flowing in the same direction before you can move forward. Otherwise, these things would go in opposite directions. So it's about aligning things in your life to get them to go forward. Also, the card of cancer. Now, we have your energy coming through here as well. So you could be dealing with a cancer or you could be dealing with another fire sign. But I feel like this is your energy here. It sort of feels to me like you're in a really, really good place at the moment. You're feeling on top of everything. You you know, I feel this great confidence, this self-esteem, this energy of feeling like things are really traveling in the right direction here. So I feel like you most likely have everything going in the right direction to move forward. I'm sort of feeling this magician energy here, which sort of says to me that you are manifesting something here. All right, so we have the Eight of Wands coming through. Um, the Eight of Wands is a card that talks about communication. It can be the arrows of love. It can certainly be messages coming across the airways. So messages coming in by email, text, um, but usually some sort of electronic sort of energy coming through with that. We have the Seven of Cups. And we have the King of Cups coming through. I feel like you've got someone here who may have made some sort of choice here. This person may have chosen to break through something. They've just made some sort of decision here. And you're about to be privy to this because this person is about to let you know they want to move forward with you. So they are coming forward because they've either made some sort of choice or they at a place on their journey that they've worked out they want to do their journey now with you. I feel like you are the black and white horses here. So it's like whoever this person is, is ready to travel with you. It's ready to move forward on something. So you could have been dealing with somebody for a while. It could be a cancer, but it could be someone or a fire sign. But it could also be someone who, I want to say, is feeling the love now. So maybe they've been in denial or something because it feels like with that Seven of Cups they haven't been able to make their mind up. They've been confused about some sort of decision here. Let's have a look. Okay, so I have the Queen of Pentacles coming through. So you could be dealing with Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The Queen of Pentacles is a card that talks about someone who's very grounded. This is feminine energy. This is someone who could be a partner, a husband or a wife. Um, it could be somebody that you have around you who is extremely down to earth, very, very sort of grounded there in their own energy. But it also feels to me like a person who is um, very in touch with their universe. This is a person who feels very, very comfortable in nature. Oh boy, that's a bit of a shame. The camera was going good there for a the moment. Okay, so we have here the Knight of Pentacles. There's some sort of offer coming to you here. Some sort of offer. Somebody has made a choice here, and I feel like whoever this person is, 
they've done a lot of work here and I'm talking about like work around their own shadow side, their own insecurities. This is a person who's learning what they want. Now, I feel like here that you've dealt with this person before because I have the Four of Cups here. So I'm not sure if you made an offer to this person before or they made an offer to you, but there was an offer made here. And I feel like somebody was not in the right place to take it with the Strength card. So there's a little bit of this energy here of not really being able to accept an offer, but this has confused this person so much that I feel like they've gone inside and done the work. Let's just keep going. All right, so we have the Sun card, a lot of Leo energy here, a lot of Leo energy, the Nine of Pentacles, Five of Cups. This person is perhaps communicating to you that they've either recently become single or they feel financially in the position to take on the relationship now. Something has changed for this person though with this Nine of Pentacles because they're more, they're feeling more independent, more self-sufficient here. So whatever work this person has done on themselves, they've really grounded who they are. And it's like they know now what they want and they've walked away from something in their past here because they're seeing like some sort of energy of their happiness sort of being with you here. All right, so we have the Temperance card. I want to get into this a bit more. Ace of Pentacles and we have the Ten of Wands at the end here. I'll just pull a card at random for the Ten of Wands. Two of Cups, yeah. Nine of Cups, beautiful. Nice when you clarify and you get such beautiful cards. This person now knows the direction they want to go in. They definitely, now this could be you. Whoever this is has definitely put something down in order to move forward here. This is very much this energy of wanting something so badly here with this Nine of Cups, like being really driven by this energy. This person recognises your soul here. And whoever this person is, they've had to work. I feel like they weren't financially able to offer you something before. I feel like this person may have been in some financial difficulty here. Because it seems to me like they've got their money in order. More so than the, the energies of other things here. So for me, this is bringing some sort of balance in. Maybe they were in a situation where they shared resources with a partner. They could have been in a marriage or a relationship where walking away meant they had to divide assets. Maybe they weren't ready to do that. But whoever this person is, has come into some sort of financial, um, I want to say financial abundance. I feel like somehow or another this person has received money or sealed the deal on something. But it could mean that they've walked away from a relationship and the financial side or the I guess the proceeds of the relationship have changed hands here. So this person's now in a position to offer you something. This person has been wishing for you the whole time. But I don't feel this person has really let you know that. Because they've been so... It's like they've been really fixated on finishing something else out in their life here. This person may have been doing a lot of healing with this Temperance and the Sun card because for me it feels like they've been trying to bring themselves into some sort of balance. What I'm feeling here is you may be dealing with somebody who left a marriage a while back but may not have communicated that to you. And I feel like they've left this relationship because they got themselves into a better place but maybe they haven't been back in contact because they've been doing a lot of healing. Let's have a good look at that. All right, so we have cancer energy, chariot, some sort of forward movement here. I feel like somebody is communicating to you here that they want to be with you after making some sort of choice here. I feel like you're definitely dealing with a water sign. There's an offer coming through from this person. They want to take a new direction with you here. Whoever this person is, I feel like they've come back into this sort of grounded energy. I feel somehow or another, I feel that there was an offer made in the past that was either rejected or, yeah, look at this. Somebody's let something go. They've manifested something here. 
So they've been very patient and I feel this energy here is that they've wanted to perhaps contact you before. I feel like they've wanted to move forward for a long time. But with that chariot energy, it was like they couldn't get those horses going in the same direction. And I feel like it was really financial for this person. I feel like they've been able to resolve this finance. I feel like they've come into money or something here. They've definitely changed something. But see, I feel like this person may have left, but has waited to heal here. Because they feel this, I feel this energy of them wanting to come towards you, but that the time wasn't right. And they couldn't move in your direction until they had things sorted. So it's like they were trying to resolve something. Maybe they were trying to protect you against something that was happening with this prior person or this previous person here. All right, we have the tower, yeah. I feel like this person's already been through something here. This person looks like, to me, they've done a lot of healing. They've been very, very patient, waiting for the right time. Justice card, yeah, they've been waiting for some sort of cycle to close out. I feel like... It is this energy of doing the right thing here. So maybe this person has left a marriage um, and they wanted to do things right for the other person's behalf, on the other person's behalf too. Maybe, oh, and the Hierophant, definitely. Definitely something to this. All major arcana I put out there with the Ace of Wands. All right. So I definitely feel that this person's already been through some sort of breakdown. They've already finished or completed some sort of marriage or background here marriage girlfriend boyfriend whatever long-term commitment i feel like they've had some sort of financial commitment with this person so there may have been property resources shared and i feel like this person was doing the right thing by this ex-partner so i don't know if they were doing the right thing because this that, that's the way they are and they're just good people and trying to do the right thing or whether this person was protecting you from some sort of fallout here especially with this tower energy but i feel like this person may have left this person some time ago but they've been healing and i get this really strong energy here that this person has sort of been working really hard in the background but hasn't lost sight of this two of cups this is a person that looks to me like they wanted to come in and offer something to you a while back but there was sort of some sort of resolution to something and before they could move forward. This is a person here who is now here to offer you something for the long haul with the Ace of Pentacles. All right, let's get an Oracle card to go on that. I don't think this person's let you go though. There's a real strong energy here that this person has been really trying to move their way back to you. I do have the Chaos and Conflict card here. You may not have had a relationship with this person before, but there does seem to be some sort of like interaction between you because it looks as though somebody made an offer and somebody else did not take it. All right, we have card 33 here if you're watching numbers at the moment. And this is Chaos and Conflict. This is about disarray, being at cross purposes with another, the tension of opposites and the value of chaos before order. And that is exactly what I'm seeing. Opposing forces come together to create a turbulent atmosphere. But consider the value of chaos that serves you well as you become unmoored by it. Scattered to the winds, you leave behind the parts of yourself you no longer need and disperse seeds to reinvent yourself anew. Although the conflict appears to exist externally, its essence is also internal, projected outwards and causing disarray. You may find yourself at cross purposes with someone else facing a storm you feel you cannot control. Yet every storm passes and chaos leads to a reordering of things. Conflict provides a way to see more than one side of a situation. Look upon this as just a moment in time when you may need to take shelter and step away from the fray. Don't be too eager to fight. This is a time to be to understand rather than to be understood. I feel like here there is some sort of energy here that this person did not want to bring this chaos and conflict into your life. I feel like this person knew that they had to sort things out. And even though they were impatient and wanted things to happen, there's very much this energy of waiting things out and waiting for the storm to pass. 
So I feel like your person has had a plan here. Has had a plan all along, whoever this is for you. Now, if you haven't met this person yet, this is what they've been going through to make their way towards you. So they're on their way to make an offer. Thanks, Sagittarius. <laughs>